Alina Svitolina has been hailed as the highest-ranked Ukrainian tennis player. The former world number three is a professional tennis player who has won 16 WTA titles. She's also defeated several elite tennis players, including former world number one Serena Williams. Hailed from the start Svitolina began her professional career at the tender age of 16. She has, however, been a tennis lover since she was a child. The Ukrainian player began formal training at the age of 13 and turned professional three years after. Aside from that, the former world number three is the first Ukrainian to reach the WTA top 10. Elena Svitolina is the daughter of Mikhailo and Olina Svitolina and was born in Odessa, Ukraine. Her parents were both athletes, thus she was encouraged to participate in athletics in addition to her studies. Mikhailo was a professional wrestler, while Olina, his wife, was a seasoned rower. The couple backed their daughter's decisions wholeheartedly. The pair's engagement in her professional career, however, was a little bit overwhelming for the Ukrainian player during the early phases of her professional career. Like such, as any loving parent would, they gave her room and let her go, which she greatly appreciates. Yulian Svitolina, Elena's older brother, used to play tennis when he was a kid. Her desire to be a tennis player was sparked by the attention her brother was receiving. Yulian is a tennis coach and continues to be an inspiration to his younger sister. Yuri Sapronov, a businessman, found her tennis passion and sponsored her when she was 13 years old. Her abilities impressed the businessman, who in turn wanted to invest in her. As a result, the Svitolinas relocated to Kharkiv, Ukraine, to hone her training further. She did not attend college after high school graduation, as many tennis players do. The now 26-year-old has opted to devote her entire career to tennis and the pursuit of a Grand Slam title. Geared Up in 2012, she was able to reach the Wimbledon Championship semifinals. She became the first teenager to win a WTA championship since 2012. She won her maiden WTA title at the 2013 Baku Cup and became the first teenager to do so since 2012. Following her victory, she landed at the 49th spot in the WTA rankings. She also defeated a two-time Grand Slam champion before losing in the third round of the 2014 Australian Open. In 2014, she made it to the Premier 5 quarterfinals for the first time, and she also reached the Premier 5 semifinals in Wuhan's inaugural WTA tournament. She started strong at the 2015 Australian Open, but eventually fell to Maria Sharapova. Despite this, she defeated Serena Williams, the world's number one American player, whom she also sees as one of her inspirations in the sport. She went on to defeat a number of players in the Indian Wells tournament, raising her ranking to number 21. Following that, she finished 17th in the French Open after a solid performance. Ellie competed in the 2016 Australian Open against Naomi Osaka, the current world number one Japanese player, but lost. Aside from competing in the WTA, she also participated for her country, Ukraine, at the 2016 Olympics, alongside Alexander Alexandrovich Dolgopolov. Following a disappointing loss to Serena Williams in the 2016 French Open, she defeated her in the Rio Olympics quarterfinals. After an upsetting performance in the 2016 WTA Tour, she returned to form in 2017 and won three Premier 5 championships. Alina was able to have a great start at the Australian and Taiwan Opens. Later, she defeated Caroline Wozniacki at the Dubai Tennis Championships to win her maiden Premier 5 championship. She won the Italian Open in 2017 and the Canadian Open in Toronto the following year. On September 11, 2017, the WTA ranked her number three in the world. Not to mention, Svitolina defeated world number three U.S. tennis player Sloane Stephens in the 2018 WTA Finals, claiming her first major trophy. Life Outside Tennis, featuring Gail Monfils. Champions have a life outside the sport, too. Just a month after rumors have spread that they're breaking up, the couple announced their engagement on social media in the first week of April 2021. Gail confirmed the news on Twitter, sharing a touching snapshot of Svitolina's left hand, complete with a diamond on her ring finger. Elena also sent two beautiful photos to Twitter. She and Monfils posed for a selfie in the first one, and she raises her hand to show off her engagement ring. Tennis's favorite couple married on July 26 in Geneva, and in true Gems lifestyle, Gail Monfils and Alina Svitolina celebrated the joyous affair on social media. Gail Monfils, the former world number six in the FedEx ATP rankings, has been dating Svitolina since 2018. 
They've given followers an inside glimpse at their relationship via viral videos, humorous TikToks, and more on their joint Gems Life Instagram account, which is titled after a combination of their initials, Gail, Elena, Malfis, Svitolina. After Malfis proposed in April, it was there that the pair initially revealed their big wedding news. Malfis was named ATP Newcomer of the Year in 2005, and he has won 10 ATP World Tour singles titles. In his tennis career, he has reached the Grand Slam singles semifinals twice and the ATP Tour Masters 1000 singles finals three times. He went pro at the age of 18 and has appeared in at least one ATP World Tour singles final and defeated a top 10 player since 2005. Despite the fact that Malfis does not have any Grand Slam championships under his belt, he is regarded as one of the top tennis players in the world. Plans in the bag Svitolina began her professional career in 2010 and has won over $20 million in prize money and more in sponsorship deals. Svitolina was ranked the world's seventh highest paid female athlete in the world. She has been previously sponsored by Elise and Lacoste, however in 2016, Nike has started to take the reins for her clothing and shoes during her matches. Her other sponsorship deals include Superior Golf and Spa Resort, Hublot, Damilano Barolo Wines, and women's wear brand Pustovit and Eofit. True by heart, proud of representing her homeland Ukraine, Svitolina decided it would be convenient for her to move to London. The property in which she decided to settle is said to be very close to the All England Club, and she now considers Wimbledon as her second home. She also spends time in Dubai and Monte Carlo, be it in between matches or for vacation. Aside from the buzz that the City of London has in tow, Svitolina has initially moved there as she can have easy access to training facilities for the sport. And because London is primarily a center hub of almost everything, flying to any point in the globe will not be a problem for the Alina. London is connected to almost every country, so traveling to countries where tennis tournaments are held will not be a problem. Wimbledon is a big event for tennis, so living very close to it is an achievement for her. Not just with tennis, but it looks like Alina has also an eye for sports cars. With transcendent traits and terrific turbo flat six engines, the Porsche 911 Carrera is a perfect fit. Considering the hefty price tag that it will cost you to obtain one of it, the Porsche's iconic two-seater and flawless engine will give you a terrific driving experience. The awesomeness that the 911 is giving is it doesn't shy away livability and athletic vibes. Despite it being a high-speed car and a race car design, it will still get you a normal driving feel. Svitolina won more than $1,200,000 for her performances in 2021, despite only winning one trophy. Plans on giving back The Alina Svitolina Foundation recently held a charity gala in Kiev, Ukraine's capital, to generate funds towards the establishment of a new international tennis academy. The ceremony was attended by some of Ukraine's most well-known athletes, and Svitolina, the foundation's president, expressed her joy at the positive reviews. Former professional boxer Vladimir Klitschko, wrestler Jean Belenyuk, television presenter Lesia Nikityuk, and former Ukrainian legislator Sviatoslav Vakarchuk were among those who attended the November 26th event. Svitolina, who earlier this year became the first woman from her country to win an Olympic medal in tennis, posted a number of photos from the star-studded event to her social media accounts. Svitolina penned a lengthy caption for the photo, thanking the viewers for their support. The 27-year-old said she was very thrilled to discover that people in Ukraine were concerned about the development of sports, particularly tennis. She also thanked the visitors and events partners for their generosity, adding the event would not have been possible without them. The Alina Svitolina Foundation, founded by Ukraine's number one player, aims to promote tennis in the country while also providing help to young and aspiring tennis players. Parting Ways After announcing her split with Andrew Bettles last month, Svitolina will enter the preseason without a full-time coach. The Ukrainian stated that she will not rush into a new partnership and will make a decision after a thorough deliberation. Under Bettles' supervision, Svitolina won 11 titles and rose to number three in the world. However, Bettles was not able to lead Svitolina to a Grand Slam championship and the world number one ranking, which was disappointing for all sides. Bettles, an Englishman, took over as coach in October 2018 after initially serving as a hitting partner. Despite winning bronze at the Tokyo Olympics 2020, Svitolina's season has been tough. As a result, she recently took a risky step. She announced the split through her Twitter account. Svitolina expressed her gratitude for Bettel's dedication and support in the tweet. She also wished him well in his future endeavors and even shared a photo of herself with the British man. Alina has remained tight-lipped about her new coach thus far. It'll be interesting to see how she manages her return to the court after her setback at the Tenerife Ladies Open 2021. Is she going to be able to make the WTA Finals this year? Comment below your thoughts!